I'm Jill. I'm a teacher at Maisie Elementary School in Maisie, Oklahoma. And today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite books. It's kind of a silly book, but I hope you like it. It's called Never Tease a Weasel. Never Tease a Weasel by Jean Condor Soul, illustrated by Denman Hampson. You can knit a kitten mittens, and perhaps that cat would purr. You could fit a fox with socks that exactly matched his fur. You could make a goat a coat with a collar trimmed in mink, or give a pig a wig in a dainty shade of pink. But never tease a weasel. This is very good advice. A weasel will not like it. And teasing isn't nice. You can make a riding habit for a rabbit if you choose. Or make a turkey perky in a pair of high-heeled shoes. You could make a collie jolly with a gay crocheted cravat. Or make a possum blossom in an Easter Sunday hat. But never tease a weasel, not even once or twice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You can build a mouse a house with a chimney made of bricks. You can give a dove some gloves and a set of walking sticks. But never tease a weasel. There, now I've said it thrice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You can give a mule a pool and some jaunty swimming trunks. Send a case of Spanish lace to a pair of lady skunks. You can give a fish a dish for her favorite seaweed stew. Send three frogs some sailing togs and a yachting cap or two. But never tease a weasel. Now I can't be more precise. A weasel will not like it and teasing isn't nice. You can bake a drake a cake for his special birthday treat. You can braid a bug a rug to make his bug house neat. You could feed a spider cider or perhaps pink lemonade or give a moose some juice to sip on in the shade. But never tease a weasel. Now remember what I've said. It's more fun to please a weasel and be friends with him instead. Thank you.